morning we're going to be testing the Spear Gold Dot 38 Special Plus P 135 Grain Hollow Point. As you can see there, product number is 53921. This is a box of 50. I did order these online. I have not seen these in the store. I'm not saying you guys can't find them. But this is made for snubbies. 38 Special Plus P 135 Grain Gold Dot Hollow Point. Let's get this shot into the gel. See how it okay, works. Okay guys, here we go with that 135 grain plus P spear gold dot. Let's check it out. Let's go check hey guys, it out. You can see where that 135 grain plus P one in. Looks like, I'd say about three quarters of an inch. I mean, massive expansion, look at that. Just tore open and dumped everything right there. And it looks like, as we go on down, right about the four inch mark, something weird happens. It starts trailing. See, it's not going in a straight line, it starts trailing to the right. And it trails on down, still trailing, goes into that second block. I got it up out of there for you, right at 13 and three quarter is where I dug that up. You can see that hollow point is wide open. It's clean. 13 and three quarter. Spear gold dot. 38 special plus P. 135 grain hollow point. I'll get weights and measurements in post. You guys have okay, a good guys, one. here we are at that side view of that gold dot. 38 special plus P. 135 grain. You can see perfectly the way it went in on this side view here. Look at that expansion, that's a good two and a half inches. And you can see where I'm talking about where it starts to do that weird twirl. And of course I got this up, so it's gonna look like it's going down now and it really went to the right. But it tracks on down, tracks on down, and it looks like it was like right at that seven inch mark. Keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. 13 and three quarter came to a rest. Spear Gold Dot, once again, product number 53921. 38 special plus P 135 grain little bad boy. You guys hey guys, it. another look at here. We're at the post of the Spear Gold Dot 38 special plus P 135 grain hollow point. This is the short barrel version and it's in a 50 round box. I told you guys the product number earlier is 53921. The 53 is for 50. If you guys are trying to find this online or something, you're most likely going to find it under 23921, which is the 20 round box, which is you're going to be able to find that a lot easier. Either way, it is a short barrel bullet design, and it's made especially for snubbies, which was good because that's what we shot it out of today. It's a great round. As you can see, I carry it in my snubby because that just came off my hip just a second ago, right before I turned on the camera. This round is awesome. What we're looking at is 860 feet per second out of the muzzle. That's out of a snubby. These are tested in snubbies. I didn't test it on a chrono, but the way it felt, felt pretty good. It wasn't, you know, a whole lot of recoil. It did have some, some definite noise to it. You could tell you were, you know, shooting something plus P or something. It was definitely loud, but hey, when you're in a firefight, it's not, you're not even gonna remember how loud something was. Uh, 222 foot-pounds of energy at the muzzle just awesome look at the penetration you guys seen that in the video I'll throw that up there it's 13 and 3 quarter look at the expansion look at that big old slug going in cutting in 13 and 3 quarter penetration weight retention right there throw that up there too 135.8 getting back to that expansion the tip, typical short barrel flat top that I've been seeing testing all these short barrel rounds. They open, they let that lead core push it down through there. It's pretty massive. 0.593 max expansion. That's wicked out of a 38 special. This thing just went in and did its job. You guys seen that initial wound channel. Anyway, it just went in and just rapidly opened up. It was a very good round, very manageable. You know, it's not like a 357 firing out of a snubby, even though it's rated at plus P. Like I said, it was loud, don't get me wrong, but I'm telling you right now, I wouldn't have known that this was a plus P by the feel of the recoil or anything. So don't let that scare you guys away if you guys got any lightweight snubbies or anything. This is a Taurus model 605. It's all steel, so it's not lightweight, but you know, great round. This is just a great round, you know, 
I've been preaching about gold dots. They're great. 38 Special Plus P, 135 grain, made for the short barrel. Hey, you guys see it right there. It just came out of my holster. That's what I'm carrying. This is the round that I carry in this snubby. I do carry a couple other ones at certain times, but hey, this is what I've been carrying for a couple months now on this one. So, anyway, once again, 13 three quarter penetration, 135.8 weight retention right there, and expansion was awesome. 38 special, 0.593. You guys have a good one.